Ladies and gentlemen, I am coming to you from beautiful Los Angeles, California via my hotel room where I got to go to the mecca of record stores. That's right, I went to Amoeba Music today. That's right, I went to Amoeba Music. And I'm gonna show you my haul that I, and I'm gonna tell you all about it and show you what I bought here on this episode of Todd's Turntable Talk. Welcome everyone to another episode of Todd's Turntable Talk. And before we get started, like always, I'd like to remind everybody to please make sure and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification to let you know each and every time a new episode drops here on our channel. Amoeba Music. For most record collectors, it is the mecca. It is the ultimate place to go to find vinyl. Sadly, they're only located in California, so if you want to go, you got to hop on a plane and make your way out here. Thankfully, I was fortunate enough to be gifted this awesome trip out here to California. I've been out here for about 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 seven days now and a couple days ago we went to amoeba i didn't do a whole lot of filming in there as we still have to wear masks indoors everywhere here in la plus there was a whole lot to do and take in and california is just too people-y for me i mean there are people everywhere you can't turn a corner without bumping into 17 people and it's really really crowded and for someone like me it's kind of a weird triggery thing and I don't necessarily like that part of it but seeing all the sights and all the beautiful things and getting to go to this amazing store is all totally worth it just for that in my opinion when we walked up I was able to get a nice panoramic shot of the whole store and as you can see here they have literally everything from CDs movies memorabilia and an entire side of the store is nothing but vinyl, and that's where I went first. All in all, it was a really, really awesome experience. There's so much there that you really could spend three or four hours in there before you even see everything in the store. Again, because of the mask mandate and things like that, I found it hard to stay for an extreme amount of time. And again, it was just so crowded. But I was really happy that I went and I actually found a couple of what I consider unicorn uh, vinyl that I've never seen anywhere else in a store. And honestly, things that aren't even in print anymore that I've needed to complete a collection that I just kind of gave up hope that I was ever going to find it. Well, I found that at Amoeba. So here's what I picked up at the store. We're gonna go with the less rare things first and then move on to the two unicorns at the end. First off, right off the bat, the first thing I saw that I just knew I had to have, and I've never seen it in stores back home with by me, <clears throat> and this is the reissue of Tori Amos's Little Earthquakes. This is an amazing album. Songs like Silent All These Years, Crucify, Precious Things, winter it's it's a phenomenal record and uh when i saw that they had the reissue there i had to have it next is an album i've been searching for for a while and i didn't know they reissued it but they did and it was sitting there in amoeba um i am a fan of rem and Automatic for the People is my favorite album, but I also absolutely love this album and really hope to find it on vinyl, and I did. This is R.E.M.'s Monster. Uh, this had such hits as What's the Frequency, Kenneth, uh, Strange Currencies, Tongue, Bang and Blame. This, this is a really cool record, uh, more the alternative side of R.E.M., and uh, I really dig it. Was very, very happy to find that. Next. This is an album that is just an essential that I think everybody should have. This is Green Day's American Idiot. This is a, the 180 gram pressing <clears throat> mixed by Chris Lord Algae, and it's, it's, it's a phenomenal album. This album is just 
this is my all-time favorite Green Day album, bar none. This is a fantastic record. I am a avid, huge U2 fan <clears throat> with a collection almost complete. And I found this at Amoeba to go towards the collection that I don't have yet. This is U2's album, Zeropa. Uh, the song Numb, Lemon, Stay Far Away So Close were the big hits from this record. And uh, yeah, they had the brand new 180 gram reissue. And it also includes two bonus mixes that were B-sides to singles. That's pretty cool. So got that. This next one uh, is brand new and uh, I was really hoping to find it at Amoeba. My girlfriend really got me into listening to these guys and they had a, an exclusive orange colored vinyl and this is AJR's OK Orchestra with their big huge hit Bang on here as well as Way Less Sad um, and lots of other really good songs. This was a super cool thing to find there because a lot of times at indie stores they get exclusive versions and Amoeba had an exclusive orange colored vinyl. So those are the not hard to find albums. You can find them in a lot of record stores and online, but it's tricky. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. This next record is one of two unicorns that I've been trying to find. And I was sad because a lot of friends gave me a list of unicorns too to look for, and none of theirs were in there. But two of mine were. I am a gigantic Billy Joel fan. It is, he is my favorite singer-songwriter, period. And I found the final record that I needed to completely finish my Billy Joel collection. This was pressed a few years ago, very limited quantities, and it disappeared really, really fast. But I found it at Amoeba, Billy Joel's Greatest Hits, Volume 3. Now, I know what you're saying, greatest hits, do they really count in a discography? Well, when you're a completionist like myself and so many other vinyl collectors, yeah, it does. This is an official press on Columbia Records. And the other reason that things like this count is because uh, at the end of this record, there's brand new songs that aren't on anything. You can only get them on this. So the biggest, hardest to find unicorn that I've been searching for my whole collection. Here it is. I found it at Amoeba. Yeah, it's still sealed and everything. So, kind of hard to beat that. And the last thing I got, which is also still sealed and out of print, ridiculously out of print, this is the original Broadway soundtrack to Hamilton. This musical is incredible. This was released for Record Store Day um, back in 2015. It is a four LP set. There's also a book in here. Um, it's a really, really cool box set. And as you can see, she's still sealed. It says mild wear written up here and I'm I'm thinking it's because there is some mild wear um, just because of how long it's probably been sitting around and stuff so it's not you know the edges are a little bent <clears throat> and stuff like that but you are not gonna find this in pretty much any record store I've seen this one other time and it was at the Barnes and Noble here of all places and they had one but by and large you're not gonna find this anywhere and I'm super stoked that I got it. So I hope you all enjoyed this adventure. And I'll see you next time here on Todd's Turntable Talk.